Reeve is one of the best heroes against this Doomie in the laning stage because you can just run him down, even with yeah. that high HP regen. They have good kill potential as well with the Lich and the Earth Spirit. I like this pick a lot though. This is this is really nice. Especially when you don't know your lane matchup. OD's just such a safe pick. It's really good against the CK because if they're close together you can orb the illusions and do extra damage. I just like not extra damage, but like hit them all at once. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And CK I do has prefer a... to see OD on the radiant just because he's then got the option of the medium camp to farm between there. But it's okay. It's 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 still uh Five still a really good pickup uh, as you say when you don't know your matchup. I love the ulti versus the weaver as well. Weaver, you know, his intelligence is pretty high, but if you can break down his mana, then he becomes a, a bit a bit of a useless bug. Weaver's int pool isn't that high though, and neither CKs. Yeah, I mean, CK's is really low. I think it's, it's Weaver's Might High. I thought it was pretty decent. Don't think so. I can check in a second. Not yeah. at the moment. I want to see the rest of the draft first. Fine. But, again... <laughs> anyway, CK's stupid as hell, so uh, OD can wreck that guy. <laughs> I like that they've picked up two cores that you really want to Doom, though, at the same time. It's really difficult to play these single core lineups against a Doom, which we where we saw all but gold kind of... The Razor would get doomed at the start of every fight at the start of the game, and then towards the end of the game, they try and doom the Monkey King every fight. Again, you want to pick up heroes that are all viable at doing damage. And yeah. Don't, you know, when they get doomed, they don't just die. Yeah, not dying is good. Not so. dying is very good, yeah. That's to be said. What do they go for next? So, Team Empire are going to be picking next. Probably looking at picking up a carry here, you would assume, Diet unless they want to do some back. two. Like strong side laners and just have like a carry OD mid. What could they go for? It's probably going to be laning against the CK, you would assume. But CK and Weaver can both go to either side lane. So, just, but I think you want to match the Weaver against the Doom. So, what do they pick up against the CK in lane? It's probably going to have the Wyvern with it as well. I think it needs to be a relatively strong laner. I would normally say Lifestealer, but Lifestealer is really poor against Weaver. Just yeah, gets kited around really easily. Hmm. Tough one to call this, I think. Agreed. Agreed. Um, yeah. I think they haven't. I, I think they'll probably go live stealer just because you want you want a hero which isn't just going to get annihilated by CK and like you got the OD to try and deal with the Weaver. You know he can just go Hurricane Pike and uh, annoy Weaver. So I think could he could Sven carry, but again I don't like that either. Just sounds Still awful. Just gets, it's, it's all going to get kited Five by Weaver. So just don't pick, don't don't bother thinking about it. You know, if if a problem's too big, ignore it. That's always been they, my life motto. And look where I am now. <laughs> they could go Loon. Is Loon a band? They could go oh, Loon. Yeah. Got last, but right. Okay, yeah, yeah. As I was say, Loon would have been okay. It feels like they need a range hero. I'm not sure what they're going to go Sniper, for. Here. Let's go. Absolutely not. The Seeker just buys a blink. There's, there's I think. no catch on their team. No, no. <laughs> there's, there's no uh, spirit CK and Weaver. Let's just buys a blink. Oh, they did. Wow, they did go Sven carry. I'm not sure how good this is. I mean, like, it's it's okay if you can get on top of these heroes. It's really good. But they have the Lich Frost Shield available. Like you said, they have the Weaver Sakuchi. CK is a really tanky hero. I, I don't think there was a perfect answer though for them. Yeah, it's a really well-rounded draft from Old Gold, which doesn't really seem to have many holes. But uh, they're going to go for the for the uh, oh, yeah. for the Sven. I mean, the cleave is, as you say, good versus Five the CK, and uh, you never know. You could just kind of crit the. Uh, I want to see a G Viper. Are you ready? A G Viper. It's going to be all. I, I don't know how good it is, but I want to see it here. Oh, okay. It's really good at kiting the Sven around again. You get that Viper strike on him, goes through BKB. I don't know how it lanes against OD. It doesn't sound great. I'll be honest. Does not. If you, I mean, you've got the uh, the corrosive skins. So. Yeah, but I mean, the, the OD just has much higher base damage than you. Just banishes you. True. Kunker maybe is Kunker banned. Kunker is not banned. It's, Kunker it's, is definitely an option. It's um, not great against OD either. Yeah, though. it feels bad against Ooh. OD. They go for the Death Prophet. Okay, G Death Prophet also pretty legendary. This is interesting. Okay, um, it gives them more push potential, which they were kind of lacking before. The lane isn't too bad against the OD. Although you don't really like getting banished constantly, I guess no hero does, you can just look to rotate and fight around that exorcism even though if you haven't had a great lane. They are very all in on the physical damage though. If if Black Archange Archangel can have a good game here on the Wyvern, it, it would be really key here, I think. He yeah. needs to be really careful with his positioning. Okay. I I don't mind this DP pick though. The silence is going to be massive this game before the BKBs come out especially. 
Really good against the Wyvern. Really good against the OD. Ten seconds remaining. I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, what G can do here on this Death Prophet. Alrighty, well these are your drafts, these are your teams, Old but Gold versus Team Empire. Team Empire leading by one game, and uh, Old but Gold do still have a chance. Of course, even if they lose this game, they will only be knocked down to the lower brackets. There's still opportunities to get through to those all-important playoffs as uh, we battle it out. Old but Gold versus Team Empire. Game number two. Who's going to come out on top? Mo Farah, can I have your prediction, please? Oh, this is a hard one. I don't... I, I'm... <laughs> I'm going to find it hard to bet against CK. I'm yeah, CK. that was going to be my reasoning as well. Uh, although it does look like they're playing core CK and uh, offlane uh, Weaver, which is kind of interesting as BZZ's picked up the Weaver. So uh, a little bit interesting there. Um, but I mean, Illid and CK is legendary. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. These guys are on their old school comfort picks. So that's always good to see. And uh, yeah, putting them in, uh, in in a nice zone there that you know they're going to be happy playing these heroes. I'm pretty sure Illidan is CK's is most played hero by quite a way, if I remember rightly. Um, G gets played, you know, a hero that he's comfortable with as well. Every position five player has to be comfortable with Lich. Velhor Earth Spirit is, is very good as well. Yeah, they they do seem in a comfortable place at the moment on uh, on Old But Gold. But it looks like a super good OD game. I think a lot of this game is going to come down towards the mid lane to see if uh, this OD can get a lot early on. If he gets a relatively early BKB, it should be an okay game for, for Empire. Already good luck to have fun called as we get into game number two. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love the, the, the HFs. Like, you shouldn't say good luck, have fun, because that's just disingenuous. Like You wouldn't really wish your opponent good luck. Like, oh, I hope you, you land a clutch stun on me by accident. No. <laughs> like, why? I mean, you don't want no, that. There's no harm in it. It doesn't matter. It's just It's, it's not just like if you say good luck, then all of a sudden they think, Oh my god, I'm going to be amazing now this game. I'm going to have so much luck. Yeah, but it's just like the ethics of communication. Like, you know, the bottom line is you've you got to be honest in what you're saying. Clearly, you don't want your opponent to be able to, like, get a win win with luck. That would be horrible for I, you. I can imagine, enemy team. like, in the Wild West ages, right, before there was, a, like, a, a duel or a shootout, they'd both just look at each other and go, good luck, have fun. Yeah, good luck. I hope you shoot me in the head. <laughs> No, it's dumb. 30 seconds to battle. Oh, firecrackers laid in the middle. <laughs> Kodos just, oh, just fucking... He's trees. Just, he's just spamming out everything. Dude, this guy's got money. He's decorating his whole lane. There's a little bit of home improvement with Kodos. <laughs> now here, you know, this tree's looking pretty dull. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to brighten it up. And look at that. Just an entirely new energy in the room. Good vibes only in the middle lane. The pig this has been decorating with Kodos. I bought a few of those, right? With, with some shards. I heard a pig. And, uh, Where is it? I've just only used the pigs. Uh, ever. I just don't use the others. They're just not as fun. Yeah, yeah. P pig, pigs are best. <laughs> is, that, is that aim in this game just to decorate the whole map? I hope so. Look at this. I want to look, I want to keep an eye on this middle lane. Do these trees stay here forever? Yes, until you get rid of them. Nice. Oh, that's an interesting block. I'm not sure if he meant to do that, but he let one of the melee creeps go through. Yep. So it's going to be sitting on the uh, DPS high ground. Yep, does get under tower though. Uh, nobody nobody gets the right click though, so uh, nobody gets the kill. Uh, DP bring them under our tower here, just wants the lane to push forwards, I think. Uh, well, no, she secure those CS. She doesn't have a choice but to well, yeah. push forwards. <laughs> and I really like that. The crypt swarms early on just to secure the range creep. It's really important here. Which side of the map are we on though? I'm so confused. Why are all these green trees here? See, that, that's Kodos' true bamboozle. G's going to be like laying on this side of the map going, like, but, but the green trees are here. I'm radiant. That's where I'm meant to be. So it's just a... Okay, it's a bamboozle, right? Mm, okay. That makes smart. sense now. See, these are these are high um, IQ plays, which us plebeians wouldn't understand. We, we talked about OD getting a good start, and he is well underway to that here, forcing the DP to try and CS under a tower at level 1. Not yeah, easy she for the DP. Does not do so well. I mean, she's got decent um, right click damage, but and with the Crypt Swarm as well, but it's, it's not easy for any hero. And a pretty terrible right click animation doesn't help either. Uh, so Doom's actually dropping pretty low in the top lane. What's going on up here then? Yeah, it's, it's Doom versus Weaver and uh, Earth Spirit, so uh, it's, 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 it's fairly heavy for the Doom, and the harass here um, is going to hurt from the Scoochies coming out and such. It Ooh. looks like they tried to put the Doom in the safe lane to dodge the Weaver matchup, possibly. I'm not sure. Maybe they thought that the Weaver was going to be the one going to the safe lane just to try and bamboozle, but I feel like this Weaver versus Doom matchup is exactly what uh, Empire would have, uh, sorry, Albert Gold would have wanted. There's a lot of harass coming onto Madden here, actually, but uh, also a lot of harass going Velo's way as well. But they're playing around with the tower, go perfectly, and Madden's actually going to go down here. Wow, kill under the tower for your first blood on the top lane. 
He doesn't have a salve though on the Weaver, so yeah, not going to have him quite as much region as he was hoping for now in this top lane. But he is he's CSing really well. Doom struggling. Are they aggro trying then with the Wyvern and the Tiny down in the bot lane? They sure are, Mo Farah. They sure are. They're trying to shut down this uh, this CK, which is a big task indeed, especially as we've seen with this Chaos Strike just offering constant heals. But uh, so far, it looks like it's been shut out a little bit. Only two CS so far. Struggling to come into this lane. Yeah, it's very difficult. This Tiny is such a lane dominator on the position four as well. When he carries that tree around, you have to be so careful as well with the toss available. Literally, Fansko has to be super careful with his positioning because all it takes is a good toss back by the Tiny. You know, Sven's done to follow up and Fans yep. will be absolute toast. Maybe You're even in the trouble. CK as well. But uh, Dream having a pretty nice time here so far as the uh, CK is just not led into the creep wave at all. Um, and Vanscore doing his best to pull, but Sai says, hey, what's going on here? Oh, some creeps. Don't mind if I do. It, it's really important that the Lich tries to get these pulls off, though, just to upset the creep wave equilibrium so CK can farm under his tower. Yep. And he's great at doing that, especially. And now the toss, toss comes in into the stun from Lich. Almost like someone said it would happen. The damage coming in. Is it enough, though? He's going to make his way under tower. Dream, though, will come in and get the right click with that big old sword of his and find himself a kill onto Vanscore. It was going to happen eventually, unfortunately. But Illidan gets a little bit of farm now under his tower, at least. He gets one CS. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a dream. <laughs> nice. What a great time. Meanwhile, up at top. Oh, no, not meanwhile up at... Yep. yep. <laughs> yes, meanwhile up at top. Uh, we got no spirit suiciding in the tower. No kick big the deal. Creep. Yeah. Why would he kick the creep? Just why not? Okay. <laughs> the... Uh, the problem is where the Weaver used to be super good against the Doom, actually. With the Doom having constant regen now, it's not as great as before, I guess. But there is still massive kill potential from the Weaver onto this Doom. When the, especially when the Swarm comes out. So what what would happen if you were an Earth Spirit? And then rather than cutting the wave, you just run into lane, kick a, cre kick a creep into the trees where it can't escape, into like a little patch of trees they can't get out of. You can't kick the, cre the creep into the tree because it breaks trees. Uh, they they used okay. to be a, the really funny one where you used to be able to pull creeps with the geomagnetic grip. The first yeah, skill. I remember that one. You could pick, you could do it from the mid lane as well, couldn't you? Yeah, Jerax used to do that all the time. It was horrendous. I remember. <laughs> I'm glad they patched that one up. It was awful and made me want to die. <laughs> well, I wasn't going that far, but uh. well, Lich, uh, he doesn't want to die, but unfortunately, he doesn't get a choice as uh, they will slaughter him. I oh, really like, but they give the kill to the Sven as well. It's, it's just course, always nice to see. We'll do that. Give the kills to their cores. Yeah. Farm them up. No chance of escaping manage, but of course, uh, never, f uh, never flame your teammates in pub games for it because, uh, you know, you always just want to get the kills. Just you get, when you're a core though, and you get upset that you don't get a kill in a pub, just morale boosts your supports instead. Like, all right, nice. I hope you buy lots of wards with that gold now. <laughs> no, your ogre's going in uh, Midas. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this OD is farming well mid. Sven's farming well bot. So. Although Doom's died you know, top twice, I don't think they really mind too much. You know, he's going to be building that Vlad's and Crimson eventually anyway. It's making sure these important cores have a good start, which they are. Yeah. Uh, mid lane, fan score, and uh, Velor are in on this mid lane as the Astral comes out. And now it's go time. The roll forwards, but Kodos will drop it. Oh, the rock comes in. Uh, Frost being used as well, but with the tiny rotation in, that will force back the side of gold, but old. No, old but gold. Gold but old. Gold but old. <laughs> Same thing, really. Is the Odie going... Oh, I thought he was going back one. to base there for a second. Uh, G coming pretty far forward here and uh, gets a small life train up on Sayu, but Sayu... So an avalanche? Uh, he doesn't want to pop the mango for it. Well, there's raindrops on the DP anyway, so... The uh, Astro Imprisonment didn't do as much damage as I thought. Yep. All That's is very well. bad. And, uh, yeah, I think the Tiny as well. I was just waiting to see how much damage actually got done by the Astro and saw it, and I was like, okay, never mind. This is really nice though because it forces the supports away from bot lane. So now Illidan can 1v1 the Sven. Yeah, Illidan has a lane. <laughs> we've talked about how good CK's laning stage is now in comparison to before. So he doesn't mind this down here now. As long as the supports aren't here, he should be able to get something. Oh, I'm getting very aggressive onto this OD. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about making and Top sure lane, oh. Madden fighting up, but BZZ, he's got the timer. Uh, <laughs> Was he trying to taunt him with Tornado? I don't even know. Who uses Tornado? aggressively uh, anyway. Well, he tried to get the hit off and then Tornado instantly because he thought he would kill him off, but yeah. he just used time lapse. Oh, that would have been so sick, though. Just that tiny little tick of damage you need to get the kill because right click doesn't quite do enough. He just wanted to do a dance before he died. That was all. All that. All that. 
no. Stunning the creep gets the deny. That's very rude, Mr. Dream. He has three points in crit though now on the CK, so he's Yeah, yeah, it's very sustainable. The cleave is not gonna be enough to force him off lane. Wyvern is heading back down here again now though, so CK has to be a little bit careful. He does have the ward, so he knows knows he's there. Again, I am just worried for the rainy side that this OD is having a really good start to this game. Yeah, they've tried to put pressure on him, but they haven't really stopped him. It looks like the Earth Switch rotating mid again. Just trying to make something happen. Yeah, the Ghosts have actually come out from G as well, so this tower is taking a ton of damage. And then they roll in onto Sayu here, but he gets the Avalanche and tossed back to his teammates, Sayu trying to get himself away. A lot of rotations coming in from Team Empire here, as they currently have three heroes in this middle lane, trying to fight it up, trying to save the tower, but the Ghosts are just going to work, and they will be able to take it down as right-click comes through, and G gets the kill. Fellow still waiting on the sidelines, gonna roll forwards onto Sayu. Here it gets tossed right the way back into Kodos. Kodos with the damage, does throw down the Astral. Meanwhile, Sayu will drop. I'll have to give up on this kill on to Velor here, as he will survive the Astral. And, uh, well, Gold will be able to pull it off in the middle lane. Yeah, that, that was a little bit aggressive there by Sayu. It felt like he's pushing up slightly too far and getting a, a DP just, you know, as soon as the Tiny hits the high ground, the DP just turns around on him straight away. And there's the Midas on the CK. Something. Shouldn't be too shocked about. He doesn't need the regen in the lane because he has the crit available to him with the life steal. Um, oh, he didn't get the recipe and buy the Midas from the side shop oh though. That's no. horrible efficiency. What are you doing, Illidan? I mean, it, it, it's still fun. The, the, the 40 attack speed that you get from the Midas is really nice on CK as well. It's Meanwhile, they do the Weaver and get the kill. No surprises there. Um, I think that CK should have a Use rework where everything he <laughs> has... Use the Midas. This efficiency. He's, he's Hello? He forgot. He's going to go to the creep camps and use it. He's waiting for the creep camps to spawn. Okay. Well, he wanted the extra XP from it, but, you know, uh, that was the about efficiency hurts. That's about 10, 15 second downtime. I'm not sure I can agree with that. No, no. It's, it's, the, the jury is going to have to come out. We'll give Grant a ring and see if it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he is the Midas expert, isn't he? He is indeed, very much so. Uh, meanwhile, we've actually got a bit of convergence, but the Earth Spirit just rolls down onto the cliff. But yeah, I think CK should get a re rework where absolutely everything is random, because they've made him far too not random. Like, his crit isn't even random now. What's that all about? Only the damage. It is a little bit. I think Phantasm should spawn anywhere from 0 to 10 illusions. And I think they can spawn anywhere on the map as well. Yeah, any item he buys is randomized. So, like, uh, Iron Branches could have give you one attribute. It could give you 20. Midas gives you a random amount of gold each time you use it. Quelling Blade might kill one tree or 20. Why don't you just flip a coin at the start of the game to see who wins whenever you pick CK? <laughs> yeah, you just click, pick the hero and you get a 50-50 chance of winning. Sounds no, that me. would be silly and boring. TI final, game five. Oh, somebody's picked a CK. Oh, we don't actually play the game. We just imagine, flip a coin. Imagine Agnim's reality riff where it just takes you anywhere on the map. <laughs> That would be so sick. I'd be into that. Oh, Ildan's yeah, getting ganged up on the trees. Actually, going to pop the uh, Phantasm for that, but his illusions are going to last all about two hits from the Sven as they just gang up on Illidan and take him down. Yeah, really good rotation. Yeah, they force out the Phantasm, which is uh, quite impressive. Is this Midas on... Oh, no. Is Midas is going to be on cooldown as well. This efficiency. He might as well not have one. See, if he'd have used it quicker before, he might have been able to use it a second time there. So yep. That's all yep. I'm saying. Lessons learned, I think. Lessons learned. It's tiny. He's got an arcane ring bottled up as well. So they are just going to trade towers. I mean, it's pretty standard. You tend to see this when one carry or when one offlaner rotates towards the lane to try and force the tower. The other just goes back the other way. Yep. And we've just going for These diffuse. These trees have all gone in the middle lane. What the hell? What happened to them? Well, maybe they do time out then. I didn't realise. That's sad. Yeah, because there were trees here and definitely nothing would have happened to them. So they do time out. That's, that's very sad. Trees die just like all things. God is a lie. We're all going to end up oh in the God, ground one day. St don't start getting political. Jesus. Yeah, that is not politics. <laughs> <laughs> political is not the right word, but you know what I mean. Oh, they find the wyvern. Or do they? Or do they? They've got. Have they got this exorcism on the DP available? Because You betcha. They might. I, I don't think you want to force this tower, though. It's so hard to push into this wyvern. It's so low committal. Like, he can just fly into the trees and then just push it out with Splinter Blast. Yep. See ya, suckers. I'm out of here. He's but, actually uh, level 6. I still can kill you with Winter's Curse if you come too close to each other. So, yeah. He's almost level 7. This Wyvern's have getting so much space up here in the top lane. Levels on Wyvern are so good as well because all his skill points do a huge amount of this game. Yeah. Especially the points in the heal. 
He is loving it. And uh, look at Blackheart's Angel as well. Currently level four in the net worth as well, you know. In the net worth? So. Uh, I said also in the net worth. He's got. He's only got eight hundred gold to his name. He's got a wand. He's got a stick. Sorry, he's he's only got a stick. He's almost got boots. That's oh, the dream. Go, Vanska. I hope he buys a. Yeah, he just bought a ward. Yeah, I was gonna no. say. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so selfless. He's like boots. No, no, no. Oh wow, the dire actually scan out the roche pit. They thought the weaver and the DP might be doing it between them with the swarm and the exorcism. But. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good idea, but that was not the case. I think they saw the double damage pickup on BZZ as well, and they were like, hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Black Ox Angel just uh, playing the weaver here, just uh, completely bamboozling the guy. I swear there was a weaver, a wyvern here. Yeah, but at the same time, the CK is just doing the same thing where he's sitting in his safe lane and just pushing the wave away too. It's, it's very entertaining to just leave. watch Black Ox Angel mess with people up here at top, though. They're, they're trying to stop. They're trying to take the tower. They're trying to put some pressure on, and uh, Black Hawk's Angel's like, nah, it's my lane. We're gonna find him now. All right, all right. They're committing hard. The X isn't used. They'll roll in, and Black Hawk's Angel, there's no more chilling for you. So you get brought down. But there are rotations coming in. The OD and the Sven making their way over. Sayu going to the trees, trying to find it. The stun comes down onto the Weaver, but he has the Kuchid up, so he's gonna get himself away. Meanwhile, Sayu plays around the trees nicely and gets himself out. Uh, yeah, Kodo's still trying to find this Weaver, but that is not gonna happen. Oh, they get the Earth Spirit though, so that's something. I don't yeah. know what he's doing, but I don't know, I don't know what <laughs> happened there. But yeah, down goes down goes the. Uh, Just the chilling. Earth Spirit. Yep. So Od is going for this Kaya Yasha as well. Something really, you know, we see a lot at the moment. I think mid one's the only Od player I've do something different, where he goes for like this minus hex build every game um, when he plays with Secret. But apart from that, Kasha, uh, Yaya, <laughs> Yasha Kaya, pretty standard throughout every other Od player. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Yeah. I mean, it's not really. I'm just, you know, I'm just slacking today, that's all. Meanwhile, Illidan has uh, actually gone for the uh, four points in reality. He had four points in Chaos Strike and only one point into the Chaos Bolt. Yeah, it's, it's pretty standard now, I think. You just want to max out the reality riff for the cooldown uh, duration. Goes down with every level. Yep. I don't know, sometimes, sometimes we see people max the uh, Chaos Bolt just for the uh, extra damage and uh, kill potential in lane, but obviously really no kill potential for the CK down here, so uh, decides to go for the other spells instead. Meanwhile, Black Hawk's Angel could be in some trouble here. Man coming in to help out, though, going on to Vela, trying to chase him through the trees. They have the damage. Oh, well, no. Vela does get the rock off. Oh, the deny onto the neutrals, though, and Vela getting down to the low ground. He's just going to go and deny himself to the tower, so uh, gives the kill all the same. Run away! Finally drops. I don't know if the Doom get the, got the XP there. He might have done. Not too sure. I think it's yeah. I think he would have done. The, the range is pretty huge now. So he's got that drums on the Doom going for the Vlad's. No surprise. Obviously, this, the armor that the Vlad's gives this game, especially, is really nice up against these physical damage cores. I'm expecting to see him build a Crimson afterwards as well. Uh, Illidan pops the Phantasm trying to turn around on Kodos here. The stun comes out. Do they have the damage? No, they do not. And now Black Ox Angel comes in to save the day. But the Razirov comes in again and forced to use the Sanities. And now Astral up on himself. Force some BCZ back. BZ coming straight back in though. Wants to find this kill. But the Cold Embrace. Black Ox Angel saving his core so, so long. Kodos trying to turn this one around. But surely he's going to go down. Now Astral comes out again. <gasps> BZZ getting so frustrated that he just wants to kill the guys of South now popped. Meanwhile, Velo goes down the sidelines and they will not bring down Kodo somehow. They save Private OD. Amazing. Astral, Cold Embrace, takes the bug off on the Wyvern. Then he Astral's himself again. It just buys so much time. Yeah, and BZ just kind of, okay, I'll get him, I'll get him next time. Okay, oh, no, never mind. I'll get him this time, though. <laughs> this time when I come in, he's going to die. He's going to get the happens. diffusal on the Weaver soon, though, and it kind of changes his game completely. Like, the damage amp like, the damage that the Weaver does when he gets that diffusal blade just goes through the roof. In yeah. Comparison to before. Great versus the OD as well. Taking away that damage is very important. You know, he probably won't run out of mana at any point, but just reducing the how much damage he's going to be doing with the uh, Arcane Orb is very useful. Absolutely. And he's almost finished off the, uh, the Kaya Yasha. Yasha yep. Kaya, whichever way around it is. I don't <laughs> even knows? know. Who knows? This Tiny must be getting close to a blink now, though, as well. He had the double bracer. Yeah, he's, he's 700 gold away. This is really good. Especially on, a hero, especially on a hero like a Weaver, who has built like really damage heavy, where if you can just blink in on the Tiny, get your combo off with a plus one, maybe like a, a, a Wyvern Blast or like a Sven stun or something. That Weaver... It's really squishy. You can't just stand on that bug. <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, he's, he's a bug at the end of the day, you know. You can always just uh, get out the old fly swatter and give him a whack. 
I love that he's going for this axe build as well on the Weaver. He's got it queued up at least. I uh, I agree with this wholeheartedly. Yeah, he, some uh, some yeah, Naichi going for that diffuser as you suggested. The problem is with their team that I see is that they don't really have an aura builder with something like a Crimson or a Pipe or a Vlad's. Yeah. That always comes back to haunt teams as well. I mean, maybe the Prophet can go for... Yeah, she's going for this... Uh, she's at least going for the Hood. Then she's going to follow through with the full Pipe. I feel like she probably should. Maybe the Weaver could have gone for Vlad's or something instead. Possibly. But I, the D Diffuser Blades are so good early on in these games. Radiance yeah, they even have a Vlad's. That's kind of crazy. I, the, the Diffuser Blades are really good against the Sven, the Tiny, the Doom, all with these smaller mana pools. And there's the Ashakaya on the AD. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, there you go. You did get the Diffuser. My bad. It was coming out in the Courier. Yeah, here we go. Look at the damage. Ooh. So he tosses that bug away. Uh, BZZ coming straight back in there. There's a whole team coming in. And Dan with that armlet. Going to use the ultimate on Phantasm, but immediately gets turned around upon. They're just going to try and rip into this CK. And oh, uh, oh, 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 the Sanity's Eclipse with all the mana he, uh, he stole off of Illidan. Kodos just tears this fight apart. Goodness me. That's fantastic. You get the curse off, but the Odie just carries on hitting. Yeah, carries like, on stealing that in. And we saw it a little bit last fight as well. But that one was so clean. <laughs> that was very well done. 24 stolen intelligence cleans up the fight and ruins any chance old but gold had to fight there. This Sven's still farming really well as well. We haven't really seen too much from the Sven this game. He's kind of been quite happy to just farm up. Feels like they want to hit this point where they get some key items online. Like the, the BKB on the OD, the BKB on the Sven. And that's going to be their really big first key point in this game. Yeah. When they have a win condition. Tiny picks up the blink as well. Now he's just got the gold. It's going to be nice for him. Splinter to blast. It's pretty annoying for the uh, for the ZZ. Can't outrun death. Uh, meanwhile, Death Prophet pops an ulti into Roshan. We go other than leading the charge. Where's the response from Empire? They need to be quick about this because it's not going to last very long. We've even joining in. Going to throw out some bugs as well for that sweet, sweet anti-armor. Where is the response? Black Arc's Angel, he's got no idea. He's just walking straight past. Roshan going to go for free to old but gold. Now we'll put them back in this game. Yeah, it does, but at the same time, it means for the next couple of minutes they can't push with the Exorcism either. So although you get the Aegis, you kind of have to be a little bit patient here if you're old but gold. Yeah, I think that's fine for them, though. They've still got some timings to lead up into. I mean, hopefully this pipe for uh, the Prophet, although I'm not too sure what she's going for. Uh, but the CK... Um He's actually gone uh -oh. in Oh, you Guys, you have to play slow. That's the Aegis gone. Yikers. Where's the response from Old but Gold? It just doesn't seem to be coming in. They're making their way over, but they don't have this exorcism, and they just kind of awkwardly head towards a fight, and now they come in. Avalanche to set up for the Winter's Curse. They'll look to Vanska on the backlands, and they will blow him up. And now G as well in a lot of trouble, trying to life drain up everybody at the same time. Sucking the whole team, but unfortunately he does get him one kill, but he's still going to go down. They'll look towards Velor as well as he's trying to run himself away on the Earth Spirit, but will not escape. Sayu finds him, and then it's going to be a whole team dead, except for the Weaver, who uh, kind of watched from the sidelines and went, yeah, I want nothing to do with that, Sayu. I mean, there's nothing... This is what I'm talking about. They don't have any team fight or, like, aura builders or anything. They get the Aegis, which is great, but then they just get caught out of position straight away. The Aegis goes... Yikes. And all of a sudden, all that advantage that they built up with taking the Roche is completely gone. Yep, completely gone. I mean, that 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 was that was a mistake from from Illid, and it's hard to say anything else. He was just way too far forward. They didn't have the exit, and they didn't want to fight. And Illidan gets himself tossed into a position. I think that was a blink reveal from Tiny, though, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So forgiven, as uh, BZZ wow. gets doomed and killed in the bottom lane. That's an arcane rune doom as well. So the oh. doom is going to have a much smaller Three, cooldown than normal. 101.5 seconds. Wow, Almost it's pretty much up already. <laughs> Almost a cooldown of a normal skill. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's pretty sweet all the same. As uh, Lion comes flying in over the top. When this Doom gets a Crimson Guard, it's going to be so hard for the Radiant to take fights. Yeah, right. It, the Exorcism doesn't get affected by the Crimson Guard, but even so, like it hurts the, the uh, CK and the Weaver so much with their damage output. And he could just go for a pipe afterwards to help with the Lich and the Earth Spirit. Ooh. 
Uh, Sven gets walloped, but uh, kind of like, well, yeah, what was that all about? Then Mime's going to run in and try and kill Lich, and he just blows him up in seconds. Another Winter's Come Curse comes steal. out immediately into that Phantasm, and they will wait, and they will tear Illidan apart. The Cleave just getting through all those illusions. Kodos does drop low, but they'll look towards Velo now as well, and they find yet another kill. Empire just walking this fight, but G coming in the back lines with the help of this Magnetite. is going to do a bit, but now G just drops immediately afterwards. Can he get the Rampage? No, he can't, but still an ultra kill for Sven as uh, Ulpa Gold just trickle into that fight. Just, just tap out. Wow. I mean, this this game looks super hard for them. I, I'm not surprised. Although this this Weaver CK looks really good, they just don't have anybody to play around. The problem is, if, if Illidan has a bad start this game on the CK, yeah, but like how, what? I don't know, man. Like, how do you just tap out of that game though? You you still got the Midas. You still got a chance to win. I I think oh. that's that's really. The, the problem is, I think if they still had the Aegis, it would have been fine. But as soon as they lost that Aegis. They know that was their like their big time to try and make something happen. I agree with you. Maybe it was slightly too early, but I, I think that game looked so hard for them to try and do anything in. My mum always told me that if something looked hard, then you just... I was going to say go harder, but that doesn't... No, it doesn't yeah. make sense. It doesn't really. No. Well played by Empire, though. I mean, pretty... The, when the, the going gets tough, the tough get going, and... Uh... When, you're tough, when you're going gets tough, GG out, reset for next. <laughs> Nah, that's I gotta, I gotta got disagree. Get. That was, that was, that was, uh, that was way too early. That was definitely uh, some tilting going on there. I think. I mean, yeah, you gotta play. You, you, you come to play dotes. You gotta play the dotes. You can't let the dotes play you. Yeah, true. But at the same time, like it's, the point is, um, they they can't play with anybody on the map. Like Weaver's okay, and he can play with the Earth Spirit. But look at all these tanky heroes. Like who are they killing? Even if, like, if to try and bring down this position for Tiny takes so long, and the lockdown to try and kill the Wyvern before he gets a heal off is really difficult. This dude's built a vanguard. He's going crimson. Yeah, sure. Sven's I mean, got the like game's ten thousand HP. You can say that about any game where a team is ahead. I think if, you, but if you GG out that early, then you're not going to make any progress as a team because you're not learning from your losses. Because you're, you're you're just throwing in the game the towel, and you're never going to make the big turnarounds, which you need to be able to do. Like. Think about OG, Grand Finals, TI. They were way worse situation than this. Did they GG out? They did not. And who's holding the Angels as champions? It's not all but gold. But, well, no, they weren't there. Come on. Come on, give them a break. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, if OG, they were competing, then it would have been entirely different The thing story. is with OG, though, right, that they have always have these hard carries in games like that. This game doesn't get much easier for them the later it goes. Yeah, DP's nice, CK's nice, Weaver's nice, but they're not scaling. They're not all scaling enough. It, uh, it was very difficult. I agree with you. The GG came out too early, but I can understand why they they called it. No, I, I, I can't understand that, and I can't rationalise it either, unfortunately. But we will be watching Old But Gold fight through the lower bracket now as we move on from this one. So congratulations, Team Empire. They will take the series 2-0, which uh, means they'll be going up into the upper bracket. You can catch that on BTS1. Here on BTS2, we're going to be following through with the lower bracket, which will be Old But Gold versus the losers of Gambit versus... Somebody. somebody sports club let's let's actually it's stack i think isn't it yeah arkan city esports yeah those guys well-known team so uh stick around here as we're gonna find out uh, who's playing home in fact maybe do we have a result in already oh we do, we do. I know, I know yeah so it's gonna be arkan city esports club versus uh old but gold here oh on BTS2, so stick around if you want to watch that game, and if you want to watch Gambit versus uh, Team Empire, head over to BTS1, but of course, uh, you know, yeah, I know you want to stick around here. Join us on the sofas. What's space? Alrighty then, we're going to see you very shortly. Have a quick break, but after that, we will be here uh, with that match, so don't go anywhere. Uh, thank you for watching so far, and I'll see you soon.